Hey, how you doing? Welcome back. Have you ever wanted to add a custom ribbon to your website? What do I mean by that? Over here we have a section, it's about 500 pixels, we've got a column with a grey background, we got some text as in a header and some text underneath as well. I'm going to add a ribbon into this corner over here. Now you will notice that there is no padding and it's very close to the borders. There's a reason for that and I'm going to show you what you got to do because what I'm going to show works but you just got to tweak one little thing with it, okay? So we're going to add a ribbon to this and how do we do that? Well, we go over to this website, cssportal.com, CSS Ribbon Generator. The link will be in the description. Go and have a play with it. This is really super cool. I'm going to type over here, it says the word popular at the moment, I'm going to type over here Web Squadron. Okay, you could have new, you could have whatever you want. I'm just going to have Web Squadron for now. And you can see it there, it's got the wording. In fact, that's a little bit too close, let's just change it to new ribbon. Let's go with that. So we've got new ribbon, and I'm going to change the colour, so we're going to go for a red colour, it, you can actually have gradients on here, so that's really, really cool as well. But I'm just going to make it be a bright colour, something like that for now, okay? And we can decide as if it's on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side, okay? Really versatile. You can pick pre-select colours here with the gradient as well if you so want. In fact, we'll go with that, so we've got a bit of a gradient going on there. Now, here's the key bit. It will now have generated for you the HTML code and the CSS class, but... You don't need to drop two widgets in to make this work. You only need one widget. So let's go back to our appointment over here. A bit above the header, I'm going to drop in the HTML, like the so. So I'm just going to drop that in over there. And into the HTML, I'm going to drop in this bit here, which is the description and the class name for ribbon. So let's go back over here and let's drop that in. Now we're going to drop in the CSS class. You want to type style in angled brackets and it will give you the closing parentheses as well. Hit a return in so you have a space in between there. Go back over to your ribbon generator and we're now going to pick up this code. Now, to be honest, we do not need this box. I'm going to bring it through, but we will get rid of it, okay? And I'll show you, you'll see why in a moment. So I'm going to take all of this code copy it. And this is just, you know, look, you can see all the details is. If you want to modify, trans, you know, transform it, make it bigger, because it is, it's not huge, the ribbon, but you want to make the ribbon more prominent, you could do that if you play around with the code. Let's take that and drop it in here and drop that now. Can you see now what the box does? It's literally put a box in, which we don't need. So let's get rid of that there box. Curly bracket, closing curly bracket, let's get rid of that. Now, the ribbon has appeared over there. And you can see, it works. It works really, really well. We now have a ribbon on our box. So if you're showcasing a product and you want to have a ribbon on it or a featured item, or maybe it doesn't have to say sale, it could say CSS code, um, gallery, um, uh, discounts, whatever you want. It is really cool in what you can do. But... Watch what happens if I add any padding to the column, okay? So if I go to column and I add in some padding of about 30, watch. It's pushed a ribbon down as well, hence why I had no padding. However, without padding, that is just way too close to the border now, right? Let's just put it as zero for now. It's pretty simple to make this look much more nicer, right? You just go to your header. And I would just say, go to your padding over here and then maybe add in some 20 padding like that. Not even 10, just do 10. Go over to your text as well. And I would say, you know, just do um, about 10 there as well. You know, so it, it's not the end of the world. And you could, you know, sh you know look, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just kind of telling you what you already know, aren't I? So you could stylize this now to look exactly how you want. I didn't need to do that. I didn't do that. 50. So you can get your padding in, you just got to do it on the actual item, but now you have a ribbon. So simple, cool, and free and easy to use. Okay, the link is in the description. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I'll see you soon.